E agora eu tô indo pro Free Walking Tour na Cidade Antiga. E ele acontece todos os dias, duas vezes por dia. Às 10 horas da manhã e às 2 horas da tarde. Se você quiser achar, é só colocar no Google Free Walking Tour Cracóvia, que tem vários e vários, várias companhias que fazem. espanhol. Crack was like a trading center for this part of Europe and not just, you know, connecting south and north of Europe, but also this road was extending to Constantinople and from Constantinople it was going to, you know, Middle East, Asia. So it was once we were filthy rich here, right? And uh, and uh, you know, and in the second half of the 10th century Poland is coming here. Before Poland this place was in Bohemia. That's why our beer tastes slightly better than in other parts of Poland. They didn't took though the Barbacan, the Florian Gate, and today we would, uh, you know, expect that they didn't took it down because they are super precious things. But in 19th century they didn't took them down because they were afraid that north and winds blowing from this direction mm -hmm. would penetrate right into the middle of the city center, right in front of St. Mary Church, and God forbid those winds would blow up the skirts of ladies going to the church. This church became the first church in Krakowian Gothic style. Are you interested in Krakowian Gothic style? Pantadeusz, which is Poland national epopee, starts like this. Lithuania, you my motherland. And then all over his book this guy is like, we Lithuania, and you know, thank you God I'm Lithuanian. So that that's since at least 40 century we have a guy with a trumpet in San Mar Church and his main job was to play a signal for opening and closing of the city gates. We have a beautiful legend of that. And this legend will become clear in a minute. It goes very peacefully and then it's cut in the middle of the note. in the middle of the note because when Mongolians attack the city the trumpeters start playing like crazy but Mongolians you know they were not into jazzy trumpet sounds they were more into death metal I guess <laughs> so they didn't appreciate the music he was producing and they shot him with an arrow to his throat what people are not realizing is something really cool about our Pope our Pope is not only the first non-Italian Pope in like 400 years but he is also the first Pope pretty much ever, like since Jesus times, uh, he had a job, right? During the war, he's working in a quarry, mining stone. Night 79, late at night, Pope is coming, uh, nothing is planned for the evening, he's just to go to bed here. Right? Uh, but as he is coming to go to bed in this building, uh, he is noticing that this place is full of young Polish people playing guitar, singing Catholic songs. Pope reaction was this, he opened the window where you now have his, have his picture and his first words to those people was something like, hey, people. You think being a Pope is an easy job? You don't think I need some rest? It's the middle of the night, you know? And when they heard it, 
uh, those guys playing guitars, they, they drop their guitars, they went like ding, you know, just run for shelter. Just, you know, you wake up, oh, you go to hell. No, <laughs> you know? And, and, and Pope gave them like 30 seconds to run around like a bunch of headless chickens right here. And after those 30 seconds, he smiled with a bright smile wow. and he would say, Calm down, people, I was just kidding. <laughs> That's my favorite song. E esse foi o Walking Tour, muito massa até agora, esse foi o Walking Tour mais engraçado aqui na Europa, pelo menos. Ele fala do geral da história da cidade, fala da história do país, do nazismo, do comunismo também, obviamente, do Papa João Paulo II. E é bacana, muito irado, totalmente recomendado fazer. E daí que a Cracóvia foi a primeira capital da Polônia antes de Varsóvia, e ela é uma das cidades mais antigas do país. Ela também é o principal ponto turístico daqui. E diferente de Varsóvia, Cracóvia quase não foi destruída na Segunda Guerra Mundial e os prédios do centro histórico dela são originais e foram pouco modificados desde o século 13. Isso porque quando Hitler chegou aqui, ele identificou Cracóvia como sendo uma cidade antiga alemã por causa da arquitetura e porque tinham muitos alemães vivendo aqui também. E o Papa João Paulo II era um arcebispo de Cracóvia e ele é muito considerado aqui na Polônia e a galera ama ele totalmente. Missão abortada por causa da chuva. Amanhã de manhã eu volto aqui para o centro para fazer imagens das outras coisas. E amanhã também é o dia que eu vou mudar de cidade, vou para Zakopane. Então deixa o like aí se você gostou desse vídeo. Se inscreve no canal se você não está inscrito. Eu estou num mochilão sem data de fim, que já está durando oito meses. Compartilha esse vídeo com a sua galera. Coloque aí as perguntas, qualquer dúvida que você tiver no comentário. E amanhã a gente se vê. Até mais. Talvez hoje à noite até, se parar de chover, talvez eu saia. Vamos ver. E vamos lá dar um rolê noturno por Cracóvia. São 9h20 da noite. Vamos ver o que é que rola. São tipo performances teatrais que estão acontecendo pela cidade toda. Ali em frente já tem outro. Acabei de sair daquela, ali em frente já tem outro. Uma galera. Esse foi bem aleatório. Vamos pro próximo agora. Música